model car fans welcome to the muscle car modeler my name is Ralph and this week I'm going to airbrush the flat black sections on this AAR CUDA which that's the newest Ravel 125th scale and I'm sure the camera kinda exaggerates the size because these two are built and this one is not built but that's the 125th and these are the 124th scales that's the 07 issue and that's the 1995 issue I got the hood off of this one just to show you that the engine compartment on an AAR CUDA is body color so I need to leave some of this stuff purple and then black out all of it so I need to black this out across the header this back then I can black that out too but I need to mask the sides for the purple engine compartment and then I also need to get up on the sides here like I did on this one but I'm gonna um, mask it all up and get really close here and then where there's a little bit of over shot here like on this one I actually polished to get the sharp edge there just you know wiping it and getting a nice nice crisp edge there as far as getting the paint so I will uh, show you how I'm gonna do that but uh, so I'm gonna mask and paint these areas and then the trick is polishing but a lot of it it has to do with since I'm using real automotive clear coat it's easy to polish the semi-gloss right off of it so polish that and I'll have to mask and paint this area so I'm gonna get this all masked up get it uh, ready for paint and uh, I'm not gonna sit there and show you me actually painting it but I'll mask it up show you how I mask it up and then uh, go out there paint it and then I'll show you and unmask it from that point on so uh, this is gonna gonna be fun but I'll get that mask and then I paint these at the same time as I paint that because same batch same air temperature because um, I've had times where I painted the hood later and I got a little bit different semi gloss sheen to the hood than I do the tops of the fenders so that's one of the reasons why I paint all these parts at the same time even though I painted a lot more of the model kit uh, the semi gloss black so uh, we'll get going on that I'm gonna get this thing masked and I will be right back well here it is all masked up just trying to control the paint there so I'm gonna get paint on here and in the front of the header and put tape on the underside and then as close as I could to the edge here so that's all masked and carefully covered and then the back area too so I can spray that the semi gloss black so it's all masked and this is like cooking dinner it takes forever to get it masked to this point so what felt like an hour probably wasn't quite an hour but get it all masked up get all covered and I'll go out there and spray it for just a few minutes and then I'm done and I'll unmask it so go out there and get that sprayed so that's that part is ready and then also got the, the parts stuck on here so ready to get the, the same paint on these parts so now that they're all mounted I'll spray this let it dry spray the body and then flip these over and paint uh, the opposite side but I always start at the back side first that's just personal preference but I'll spray these and uh, spray the body and we will get back to this one okay well we got that stuff shot just letting it uh, this I'll let dry just like this but this got it shot but now it's time to start pulling the masking tape off I pull it off right away so um, let me get this pulled and peeled Although I'm a little worried about the decals under here, so I got to pull it at a very slight angle. So I'll get the, all the masking pulled off and then I'll show you. I'm not going to do that quite on camera, only because I really need to have the masking right in front of me. So I'm being very careful instead of having the camera in between me and the body. So, and then I shot the back here. And I'm sure there'll be an area or two I'm going to have to touch up, but I'll get right back to that. All right, got the masking tape off, and I didn't have any issues with it pulling the decals off, which I was really nervous about, which is why I did that off camera, so I could have that right in front of me. And I got a couple of areas where there's just a minor amount of overspray, which I'll polish them off and polish this line cleaner. But uh, you can see a little bit of overspray right there. But because I'm using the real automotive clear, and you can see where I didn't quite get right to the edge, the black is going over the edge. But uh, I'll polish that all off. But first, I'm going to give this a couple of days to dry. And then I will continue on with this. So you can see what's going on here. Yeah, I got a little bit right there too. 
but that's easy to polish off and then um, touch up here and then put the chrome on there and I uh, forgot to pull the masking tape out of the taillights but no biggie but uh, I will continue on with this and uh, We'll give it some, some time to dry there, like in the engine compartment. I'm going to brush paint this section, which is why I didn't paint that. It was just kind of easier. But it's under the hood, so I'll end up brush painting that area. But uh, she's looking really good. It's funny, all that masking for just that little bit of paint. But it's, you know, some of the things that make these things really come out. So uh, stick around, but give it a few days to dry, and I'll be polishing it up. Okay, well, I've given it a week to dry. And uh, this is the result. I mean, it's, I haven't done anything different. But just a couple of things to go over with you real quick. Um, some of the things that help this next step is the fact that I'm using Real Automotive Clear Coat. And I've let it harden. It's actually been painted for over a month as far as the clear goes. Um, so it should be pretty well cured. I popped the grill in here just to see. And then also, I didn't really sand it, but uh, it makes it pretty easy to do. But some of the uh, other clears, I've done this before, you can polish it and burnish it. Um, but uh, you know, the longer you have in between coats, the, the more this is cured. And the less the top coat will actually, the, the semi-gloss black will actually uh, attach or adhere, etch itself to the thing, to the clear coat. But you can polish it. There's a couple of different ways. I'm actually going to use a Q-tip right now. And uh, the easiest way to do that is just to get in there and you can kind of see right there and then just start rubbing it and see how it's on the q-tip and it's pretty much right up to the edge you can see where I just did it and I can just go all the way down the fender just take your time and it will slowly go away just try not to go over the fender Trying to do this on camera while uh, watching what I'm doing and making sure I stay on the screen. And you just go slowly and keep doing it and you will get it. You can see a big chunk right there. And I'm pushing on a little bit with the, the stick inside that I can feel. I can feel where it's going. Got a little bit more to do because there's a couple areas where it's there we go where the coat's probably a little thicker and all right I gotta keep doing it a little bit All right. All right, I'm really liking the way that's coming out. Just got a little bit more to to do.
and it's getting it right up to that edge. All right, and then when it comes to in here where the mirror goes, well, actually. When that's glued in there, that should hide that part of it. But uh, you can get in there also and use the edge and get in there. Get that out of the mirror spot. Which you really don't have to because you're going to glue the mirror in there. But uh, I'm just trying it to see if I can. Because this one has the impression in there. But use this to keep going and get that all cleaned up. And then here you can see from one side to the other where the paint overlaps it. Versus this side where now it goes right up to the fender edge. And I got a little bit more to do up here. But try to keep this on the side this way and don't go over this way. So you want to keep doing it that way. And I'm giving it some medium pressure. I do need it to polish. And then you know you can switch out your Q-tip and a few times, but like in the way that's coming out. And now it's a time to do the other side. So you can kind of see where the overspray is right there, and then. But using the real automotive clear because it's a pretty hard, durable finish, um, kind of makes this step easier. So one of the benefits to using it. Oops. Slipped up to the top side. But at least in a real thin spot, if I did, which doesn't look like I, I got it there, you can polish it still or touch it up with uh, some brush, which I kind of don't want to do. Oh, time to use the other side. Here we go. It's a real good example of getting in there and cleaning that off. The downside of it coming off this easy sometimes and using the real automotive clear is if you're uh, putting the bare metal foil on and you've got the black underneath, sometimes the bare metal foil will just pull the black right off of the clear. This is how I like to do some of the blackouts like this, especially when it comes to polishing it up and getting it up in here. And you can actually feel the Q-tip grabbing and get smoother. So you can see some of the chunks right there. But you can feel it doing it, grabbing it. Still got a little right there. There we go. <clears throat> there we go. And then sometimes anywhere where you get the overspray where you don't want it, you can touch it up, which I don't see anymore. But uh, put it under the camera so that you can see. And I got some areas here where I did a little touching up with the brush paint. I still got a little bit to do back here. But uh, that pretty much completes the polishing and the finishing of the semi gloss black sections. And then I'm going to brush paint in here. So that's going to get brush painted to black. But here she goes. You put the 
put on her. You can see it's a nice even sheen and matches and follows the line really nicely. And then put the grill in there. And so I'll continue on with this build, but I'll get the. It's got a little lint on it from <laughs> sitting for a week. But uh, I'll clean this off, do the foil, and get this finished up. And uh, I don't think. Let's see. So I'm going to do another layer of brush painting of the white. I did one layer for the headliner, but I'll do another layer in there because I was worried about overspray getting in there. And you can kind of see a little bit of it where it got in there, but that's not a big deal. Some of this is just the purple where the brush didn't get, um, but it'll get foiled in those areas too. So I'll do another coat of white on there and then start putting the foil on it and finish building this one. So there might be one more update and this thing will be done. But uh, there you go. That's uh, some tips on how I do the the flat semi-gloss section. Um, kind of specific to the AAR CUDA on this one. But I do this on some of my other ones too. But I just wanted to show you how to do that. And I uh, um, hope that helps you. And I appreciate everybody tuning in and watching. And uh, you guys, you have a wonderful Saturday. And I will see you next Saturday.